when it comes to uh, attracting wealth in our lives because this is a big topic for a lot of women I think a lot of women are struggling with that and, and in, in some cases some women may not even think it's something that's possible for them well I think you just hit the nail on the head right there if you think it's not possible or you think that you know you were destined to live a life of poverty then you're not going to attract wealth because that's a belief and it's a belief that will literally set up a barricade that will block wealth from even coming into your life because wealth is there there's an abundance in the universe and it's available to everyone but if you don't believe that and you don't believe that you deserve it and that's actually why the subtitle to this book is attract the abundance you deserve everyone deserves it and this is the thing you know where I think a lot of people are blocked is they don't believe they deserve it and if you don't believe that or you have other beliefs that are limiting, limiting. you will prevent wealth from coming into your life but it's absolutely available to everyone Okay, so you know what? I'm sure that people are going to watch this and say, yeah, 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 I've heard this before. I've tried it. It's not working. Well, easy for Peggy, but my situation is different. I have children. I have responsibility. It just can't be happening this way. I've tried and tried and tried and tried again. Are we again talking about that, that word belief? Is that again yeah. what's... It's exactly what you're talking about. You know, the, the thing to remember, and you know, I work with a lot of people, and I tend to work with the people that are, you know, already open to the ideas you know they may have some challenges they want to work on some beliefs but they're already open to the ideas and, and quite often I'll hear someone say you know like I really believe this you know I'm working on it and I'm like flipping my switches and I'm you know attracting more abundance in my life and you're really getting it but my husband doesn't or my wife doesn't or my yeah. mother doesn't or my brother or whatever and they think that it you know they, they've got to force it like jam it down their throats that you know this is really you know this stuff really works and you know what you can't do that it's like that old expression, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make, yeah. a, dr make a drink, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the same thing with this. Um, okay, so there's another topic I'd like us to talk about, and, and we've talked about belief already, and I think it's it's becoming quite clear from you and, and a lot of people I've, I've interviewed that belief is really important. But you talk about emotions. I think that's a little harder for people to grasp and understand. And so we understand how belief can prevent us from attracting the wealth in our lives, but what is this about emotions and how does that come to play? Well, you know, the, thing, the first thing to remember is that the only one that's in control of your emotions is you. You know, sometimes you'll hear people say, you know, you made me feel or, you know, they did this to me. Nobody does anything to you and nobody makes you feel anything. You know, we're the ones that are in control of how we feel. And our emotions are like on a dimmer switch. And I've actually got a, a sample that you probably can't see that, you know, from... From uh, here, I'll try and move it closer oh, to the yeah, screen. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. But, yeah. yeah, there's a panel of dimmer switches there, right? Yeah. And our emotions are like that, right? They're either up or they're down. And at the high end of the, of the, of the uh, switch is the powerful, positive emotion, such as love. And that's what's written here in the book, love. At the low end of that, that switch is hate. And the same thing for the next emotion. I have my glasses on, so I have a hard time, <laughs> actually. Let me grab my glasses here. Go so right ahead. You know, wonder and emptiness, you know, bliss and determination, faith and worry. I mean, those are the, you know, the opposite ends. So at some level, we're vibrating or expressing or feeling, you know, emotions on different levels. You see, if we just understand that there's like this panel of dimmer switches within us, and I have something that I created called the scale of human emotions, which there's uh, 12 emotions and they're all mapped and they all have different levels. If we just understand where you know become aware of where our levels of emotion are for example the emotion of fear yeah. fear will destroy i mean it's an absolutely devastating destructive emotion now i'm not saying you're never going to feel fear you're going to feel it it's everyone's going to feel it's it normal. i feel it as well yeah but just become aware when it's there and then choose to do something about it or if you start to think i mean we're talking about money here right so if you start to if you start to freak out or choke or you know I don't have any money to pay that whatever what's happening your switch is on low well when your switch is on low everything becomes dark right you put the switch on the wall you put it on low everything in the room becomes dark are you gonna attract anything good into your life when you're feeling like that no absolutely not absolutely. but if you start to move up the scale ie do something about how you're feeling you can put little reminders like on my desk I have this little thing and it says, have an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Have an attitude of gratitude. Having an attitude of gratitude will change your life.